hello. Um, I hope you can hear me. If uh, you want to possibly put some headphones on, you may hear me better. And possibly when you view this video, you may wish to actually put it into high definition mode, full screen. And then you can actually see what I'm actually looking at when I look at various things and point to them. And what this video, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and explain how to get hold of, say, a free synthesizer and use what they call a VST plugin and a VST host. Now I'm absolutely new to this. It's only yesterday and this morning I've actually discovered how to do this. But now that I've discovered how to do it, I'd like to A, record this to show myself how to do this in the future, and B, maybe I can help some of you who are new to this and are wondering how you actually download a free synthesizer and get it to run. Now there's a brilliant website which actually got me started which says how to install VST plugins and up here it's called uh, freesoundeditor.com and there's installation plugin vstame.htm as I say if you look at this in, in full screen mode and high definition you should be able to see what I'm actually clicking on, or simply just Google it. Anyway, this, this is really useful, this bit. Um, and it says that VST plugins are not standalone softwares, they need a host. And thankfully what this does is it actually gives you a list of hosts which you can use, and it runs your plugins, which is what you need for your free synthesizers. Now, to allow these VST hosts to work, your PC must have an ASIO driver. Now, unfortunately, this is all double dutch to me, but it says you've got to first download this. So that's what I did. I downloaded that. And I chose their choice of VST hosts, which I downloaded, which was VST host. So I'm not going to download these because you, you basically just, when you click on these, you get a zip file which you just extract to a folder on your hard drive. Now also the other thing that you want to download is you need to look for the synthesizers that you may wish to use. So this is just a simple one. It's called geosites.jp. It's a synth one. Again you Google it. It is in looks like it's in Japanese to me, but you do have a download option there. Again this will create the zip file that you just unload. And I'm going to show you what I do with that in a second. Um, another one I used was this Tyrrell M6. Now, if you do go onto YouTube, you can usually find um, little tutorials of people that use these things and show you how to get started with them. So this is a little synthesizer that I wanted to use. So what I'm going to show you now is I actually have a hard drive uh, in addition to my the one on my actual laptop. And when I downloaded the host file, I actually created a VST host. I just I just set this folder up on my hard drive, a VST host file, and I put the information, extracted the information from the zip into here. I then, that Tyrrell, that synth Tyrrell, I then downloaded that and extracted it into the same folder. So there's this Tyrrell, that dash music VST, and this was what you extract, I just extracted that. So I put that into the same folder. Now, what that does is I now have a host, and I have a VST plugin, and I have my synthesizer, which is a VST plugin. So if I click on the EXE file, there is my um, synthesizer. So, so I just play the keyboard and I can alter whatever I want on here, try and get some different sounds. And also, simply, if I go into here, you have preset sounds you can use. So just choose what you want, really. So there's, there's 
some things for you. But. So as I said, if you if you go onto YouTube, you should actually find some tutorials on how to actually use these. Um, that, that's just basically how you do it. it it's that simple. It, it's not as bad as, as I thought it would be. Um, so I'm just going to go and try the other one. Let me show you. I created this one. I created a separate one because I found it was running very slow when I tried to put both plugins into the same VST host. So I just copied the VST host file and used, I just kind of put this synth one in there. So if I go to the EXE on this one. I can actually press letters on my keyboard, numbers on my keyboard, which represent various things on here. So that's just me pressing my keyboard, and then if I press my keyboard, I can then change values on here. how to get your synthesizer through a, a VST plugin and through through a host and gets you up and running and so I hope you hopefully you found that of use. Thank you for watching. Thank you.